Hmm, what beer do I want to try next? Beer time, it's beer time with the beer man. It's my day off. It's a beautiful day outside. Can't wait to go do some gardening with my lovely wife. Right on. So today, as you saw in the intro, I have uh, Prairie, Prairie Artisan Ales um, Bomb. It's um, th There was a couple others that all kind of had similar... Uh, well, they're all about the same percentage, I think. It's 13%, which is a pretty heavy ABV. Um, it's an Imperial Stout aged on uh, coffee, cocoa nibs, um, vanilla beans, and um, chili peppers. So it's going to have a little, probably a little bit of a spice kick at the end there too. I don't know. We'll find out, right? Spaceship Earth Coffee Company is there, is, is the ones, is the coffee that they used in this beer. So just thought I'd throw that out. Anyway, let's open her up. Oh, that looks oily. <laughs> this is like very viscous looking, very thick, very oily looking. Really nice though. So we got about less than a finger head. Um, you know, I, it's common in a higher percentage beer. So um, obviously it's showing that it's very thick and viscous like and oily. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. Let's go ahead and smell Wow, look at that. Oh, oh. I, I do get the chili peppers. There's a little bit of a heaty kind of chili pepper smell. I get the dark, I get the chocolate, the cocoa nibs, the dark chocolates, dark roasted chocolates all over this. Roasted malts galore. I mean, this is thick and, and just crazy smelling. The vanilla's coming out. Yeah, vanilla comes out with the chocolate and then that peppery coffee, espresso, real dark espresso coffee coming out. It really mixes and blends very good with this. Let's go ahead and look at it. So we're getting really excellent lacing on the glasses, really thick and just very lavish and staying there and moving slow. It's got an oily presence on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the glass. Um, very opaque, can't see through it for sure. And the lacing on the glass is really thick and just very lavish. And staying there and moving slow, it's got an oily presence on on the uh, on the on the glass. Um, very opaque, can't see through it for sure. And so it's got slow to medium rising bubbles going on. It's a very oily looking bubble, very tightly woven. Oh. But let's go ahead and taste this. It's driving me nuts. Whoa. Very heaty from the alcohol. Not from the peppers. You get a flavor from the peppers though. You get that bitter dark chocolate um, and uh, that bitter dark chocolate, that unsweetened chocolate kind of feeling on, around the edges of your tongue, along with a real resinous, alcoholic-like um, existence that kind of floats around your tongue and goes down your, your it has a real a nice alcoholic um, and heated finish with, a, with that dark, bitter chocolate finish as well. Um, the body is super robust, just, Woo, like dense, like heavy, you know, like it's not, it's, it's very, very heavy actually. <laughs> not something you want to drink fast. Definitely a dessert beer. 
It's very filling and thick and rich around the mouthfeel. It's very silky and smooth at the same time. Um, there's no heat from the chili peppers. It's not spicy or anything like that. I do get a dark fruit like that of a prune. Yeah, I get prunes. There's a little hint of it, but not bad. That chocolate, the heat from the alcohol, I can feel it just sizzling up into my palate. Just like extremely crazy feeling. Very viscous and coating on the mouth. Um, actually, it's as smooth as this is and and everything. The alcohol is a little very strong, so not. I'm not gonna say too strong. It's just very strong. Um, I'm not really. I like a lot lighter than this. <laughs> like half less. <laughs> but for for the show, this is perfect. And for and to, and to drink a small amount with like a, a dessert of choice, um, preferably probably a coffee cake or a chocolate cake or something like that of that nature. It's really delicious. And for, for what they've described on this and for how it tastes from their description, everything came about perfectly. Um, man, out of five hops, I'm, I'm going to give this five hops. This is a delicious beer. Uh, it's a dessert beer, so it's something you got to get used to. You know, you, you'd have to just accept the fact that it's thick, viscous, and oily, and also at the same time very delicious of chocolate, coffee, vanilla beans, and freaking peppers. Um, it's just amazing. That pepper kind of works really well with the heat. Like, it almost makes you think it's from the pepper, but it's really actually the heat from the alcohol. Um, and you feel that go up your, your sinus. This is a very, very good beer, though, man. Beer Guys, try it. Check it out. It is a freaking $10 beer, though. Um, so, yeah, $60 a six-pack. <laughs> wow. All right. So, um, all right, guys. Thank you so much, guys and gals. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, I just appreciate everything. Appreciate the support. Please comment. Let me know what you think. If you've had it before, let's compare notes. Um, right on. If you're new to my channel or if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell. Hit that bell so you get informed automatically when I put up a new show. Try to do them every day. I try. And uh, hit that like button. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Have a good day, night, wherever you're at. Cheers. Peace. I'm out of here.